Welcome back to the Swift Star and Dad wrapping up our gnarly 90s week by breeding Hollywood Homer on a budget because we know no different around here. Do you remember that famous Dr. Seuss book, All the Places You'll Go? Here's my adaptation of that for this. There's a place you will go, a land you won't know, where the palm trees are high and the babes lie below. You'll see some great sights and even some cat fights as we make our way to Beverly Hills 90210. Well, I'm not the biggest 90210 fan then or now, per se, I think we all should acknowledge that this was one of the Fox Network's most classic treasures. I picked up the pilot episode, which is really a pilot movie, and a bare-bones DVD release. No special features to speak of, unless you consider closed captioning, a scene selection, and Dolby Stereo surround sound to be special features. In the case of a DVD release with so much going for it, they're not. But nevertheless, I procured this for $2.99. It's distributed by Republic Pictures and Lion State Home Entertainment. And if you look down here, you see not custom signed, but pre signed, imprinted autographs of the cast. I can make out three Ian Ziering, who plays Steve Sanders, Jenny Goss, who plays Kelly Taylor, and Tori Spelling, who plays Donna Martin. They, along with newcomers to Beverly Hills from Minnesota, the Ross Twins, Brandon and Brenda, played by Jason Priestley, Ed Shad and Doherty, all learn that growing up is hard to do, even in Beverly Hills. The Walsh family moves from Minnesota to Beverly Hills where twins Brandon and Brenda enroll in West Beverly Hills High. Each member of this solid, all-American Midwest family sounds by the excitement, romance, keyword being romance, and glamour of Beverly Hills. Within 90 minutes, these two learn that Beverly Hills is quite a world away from Minnesota. The disc played smoothly, and let's not forget, Brian Austin Green, who portrayed David Silva, the late Douglas Emerson, who played his freshman buddy Scott, and Gabriel Connerus, who played the studious Andrea Zuckerman. Without being a 90210 fan in the highest regard, I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this. This is just a lovely piece of early 90s nostalgia for the teen and young adult crowd who grew up in that era. Now, this started the first season, and it was during the time when Fox had to find its footing in the scripted drama arena. When they brought in Luke Perry later in the season as Bad Boy with a Broken Heart Dylan McKay and started airing summer reruns to tide viewers over until the next season, game on. All of these guys became household names and Tiger beat pinups. As you saw on the case, we also have here Flyer for a chance to win a DVD collection from Artisan Home Entertainment. Submit your feedback on this or any other DVD published at the time, and you can win a free DVD collection. Pretty neat. So, no playback problems, no problems with the acting or the dialogue, and even though it's really simple dialogue. Hey, this was in its infancy, folks. Cut there and start some slack. As far as the music goes, there were plenty of songs featured in the Nissel Fox broadcast. All those songs have been taken away and replaced by the music of composer John Davis, who, as you know, penned the iconic theme song, which was given a revamp in the fourth season, and that's my favorite. For any 90s DVD buff, you'd be hard-pressed to find this and not enjoy it immensely. Four and a half out of five claps. Every teen drama made today worth its salt and sugar owes quite a debt to 90210. Because as far as I'm concerned, these students of the class of West Beverly Hills High are the teachers who carved out quite an attractive curriculum for one of the most understated fields of television. If you haven't got it equated, today is your day. Your mountain of starlets awaits. So get on your way. Class dismissed. TSR. Now, to see another awesome review like this one, click here. If you want to become a Hollywood bargain hunter, click here to subscribe. Now, catch you on the thrift side.